How about a week four health update? How's it going guys? Corey the Random Guy here with you today on week four of the recovery from the vitamin D and B12 deficiency. Uh, before we get into this though, let's do a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a professional. If you guys are having an issue, I would suggest go and seeing a professional. I'm giving my experience of what I am going through. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm actually feeling okay. I am still feeling out of it. My ears are still ringing like crazy. I still have fluid in my ears. Other than that, I'm actually feeling okay. I'm, I'm kind of getting used to the whole being out of it thing. So I don't know if that's just kind of going away or if it's actually just kind of coming or if I'm actually recovering slowly, but you know, I did a bunch of research this week. It's gonna take probably about six months to a year to fully recover from this. I still got a long way to go. I did get thyroid checked. I got an ultrasound done on it. I just got my results today. I do have a nodule on my left side. It's only 0.5 centimeters, so, and it's fluid-based, I guess, and non-cancerous, so really nothing to worry about. It should go down on its own. So that's a good thing. So my levels should be still be coming up. Uh, so what I did different when it comes to the vitamin D is I started taking vitamin D3 10,000 units every day. I didn't take that D2 50,000 units because you guys remember a couple weeks ago, I was feeling absolutely crap after taking that. It did help boost my numbers a little bit, but it, it just made me feel like crap. And I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> so I switched over to D3 10,000 units every day. And I'm going to keep doing that probably for the next couple months or so, see where my levels are at. And then same way with the B12. I'm taking uh, 1,000 micrograms every day on top of my multivitamin, so whatever my multivitamin puts out for the vitamin D and B12 on top of the extra supplements. So that's what I'm doing, and I seem to be feeling okay. I mean, I'm not 100%. I'm maybe about 35 to 40% maybe, which is better than what, two weeks ago? Shit, two weeks ago, I was like, oh, I feel like crap. Anyway, guys, that that's the update on the whole uh, deficiency thing. It's not good. Deficiency is never good for the body. I did not think that having a deficiency would really screw with you as much as it did, and it did for me. It really screwed me up. From what I have read and from what my doctor has kind of said, the thyroid nodules will actually come up from a vitamin D deficiency. Who knew? Hopefully all that stuff will start going down, my ears will start becoming unclogged, and maybe this tinnitus will go away. I don't really have much tinnitus today, but I have noticed my hearing is kind of lowered a little bit. That is the update for what I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm not enjoying it because feeling like this sucks, but I, I gotta I gotta be real. We will catch you on the next video, and guys, stay healthy, stay safe out there.